as well. Still no Cyril Bai with a calf strain, so Reda Wadi starts at loose head. Julian Marchand at hooker, and New Zealand-born Winnie Antonio a tight head prop. Cameron Wokey was born just around the corner from the Stade de France. A proud moment for him. He's in the second row with Thibaut Flamont. And a big rangy back row. Cross, Aldrit and Olivon all close a threat. And the best player in the world right now, Anton Dupont, will skip right now with Matthew Chali Bear in the 10 jersey. Yuram Wafanda comes in for the explosive Dante out with injury. And Fuku claiming number 30. And it's a fully loaded back three with Gavin Villiers, Thomas Ramos, and the ultimate weapon, Damien Pinot. 13 of the French 23 were in the team that beat New Zealand by 15 points here two years ago. And there's late changes for the All Blacks in the back row. Ethan De Groot is at loose head alongside Cody Taylor and Nepo Lalala plays his 50th test match. Two-time World Cup winner Sam Whitelock is alongside Scott Barrett in the second row. Now for the changes. Sam Kane is out. Dalton Papa Ali'i plays seven. Tupovai comes off the bench. Adi Sabaya is the captain. Yeah, it's a proven combo in the playmakers department with Aaron Smith and Richie Moonga combining. Anton Leonard Brown gets a start with Jordy Barrett out with injury and links in with the very talented Rico Ioane. And it's a lethal back three with Mark Talia, try scorer Will Jordan and the game changer Bowden Barrett. And Brody Retallick will win 19 for the All Blacks. He's off the bench. Listen to the noise in the Stade de France. We've never had a World Cup opener quite like this. Great World Cup rivals. It's France against New Zealand. Just listen to this. Ale Ale, the Rugby World Cup is underway. French flair and all black excellence. New Zealand all in black of the match. He takes his time and he finds the double World Cup winner, Sam Whitelock, in midfield. And there's a short ball to Rico Ioane, bursting through the middle into the French 22. What a start for New Zealand. Play Hot on. on attack already. Anton Leonard Brown and now Bowden Barrett, the fullback for the All Blacks. What a break from Ioane. Go, go. <laughs> Penalty, New Zealand. Diving over. That was a great running line, but it was the pass. They had decoy over. runners out the back door, and they isolated the midfield of France, and they go quick. The All Blacks looking to force the initiative. Aaron Smith, they've got Release. the penalty advantage as well, New Zealand. There's the ball. There's the ball. Ball's available. Moanga, Barrett. Works the cross kick to Mark Talia. Sits up for him and he scores for New Zealand. What a start for the All Blacks. A try inside two minutes in the World Cup opener. Well, he made his debut in November last year, Mark Talia, but he's made himself an integral part of this All Black unit because of situations like this. Test matches in 2023. From wide out. It just slides by, so it will remain 5 0. Look at that Bowden Barrett. New head numbers on the outside. Try to get it on the full, but Mark Talia was good enough. Now the slow walk back here for France. Obviously, a very long time to go in this game. What is their reply? World Cup game for the New Zealand great second rower. There's Salt on Popalei in the seventh shirt in the place of Sam Kane. And Ramos to close the gap to two points. Of course, these two sides met here in Paris back in 2021. Grant scored 40 points on that occasion. What a breakaway here from Peto Malvaka. He chips ahead. His run's been checked as well. Interesting setup defensively for New Zealand. Wonga directly behind the scrum, stopping the blindside move of France. Preempting. Oh, here's a penalty. 
Number one pulling it down is the call from the referee. That's Number one on his Ethan De Groot. Toma Ramos to put France into the lead, and he does so. France six, New Zealand five. Just a couple of metres out, New Zealand. Crowd getting behind their team here at the Stade de France. Tupolvai, offside France, advances New Zealand. Smith to Scott Barrett, driving low. Barrett, he's over the line. The ball's been lost forward, but we will go back. There's the shot clock. Well inside that, Richie Mawanga. Adds three points for New Zealand. Solid scrum from the All Blacks. Front rows down. Penalty France. It's on at Ramos. Hopes to lose. Has a chance from precisely 50 metres out here. He's hit it very well indeed. Perfect off the tee so far tonight from Ramos. Anton Leonard Brown now. Cut out, ball to Mwanga, gets on the outside of Waki. Richie Mwanga, his mark to Leah. Good attacking opportunity again for New Zealand. Savea to Mwanga, a bit of space here now for Mwanga and New Zealand. Beautiful ball over the top to Will Jordan. It's Dalton Popali'i, in fact, into the French 22. Mark! Savia again. So we're at the 40-minute mark. This is the final play, and with a one-point lead, Tom Ramos, who's kicked all of France's points so far, puts it over the end line and will take us to half-time. Mark Talea opened the scoring in just the second minute of the match. But it's the, the penalties of Ramos that has France in the lead. They lead New Zealand nine points to eight. It doesn't just happen on the pitch. Mathieu Jalabert, an enormous responsibility on his shoulders. That fly That's half for France in this World Cup as it goes forward off New Zealand hands. And France have it early in the second half. Here's Cameron Wockey. Lifting energy, wasn't it? It was Francois Cross who was penalised. Chip over the top for Will Jordan. Brilliant skill from Jordan. Looking for a support runner, doesn't find one. Good tackle from Villiers. They look for the steal now, France. Double clutch from Mwanga over the top to Talia. New Zealand looking for another try. Talia has a double. I'm in line. Almost conceding at their own end. They score first again. I think it was Rico Ioane with the pass. From defence, turn it into attack. Line out was good. Chip in behind from Adi Savia to Will Jordan. Jordan was looking for support, made the right call. Support players there quickly. Scott Barrett with the clearance and then the double pump from Rico Ioane out to the try score and Talia will get two. Now Vaca again, he wants to nope, nope, drive down, on nope. here. Players in front of him just losing their feet temporarily, but they go again for us. Dupont. Out the back from Malvaca. Kick pass for Penno. Damien Penno reels it in. But Richie Moana with the cover tackle. Looks like he's put Penno over the sideline. Yeah, I think he's got them. I think he's got him. Richie Moana goes low and takes the legs out of. Penno. He loses the ball forward. We'll great... show you one angle to confirm. Here you go. Great, but he's nobody on the kick. Up. Here's your best angle, Yako. Nothing on the big screen for us. It's coming to you now. He loses the ball forward uh, before the line. We've got one more angle. Before the line, so that's one. It's actually a line out black ball. He loses it. The ball goes into touch. Touch. 
France hot on attack, but Sam Whitelock climbs high, almost steals it for New Zealand. Moefana with a carry. Flamont. Francois Cross. Dupont to change direction. Jalabert, Mathieu, Jalabert, Tommy and Pino. France take the lead in Paris. Well, it wasn't the original way they wanted to get over the try line from the line out. New Zealand competed through Sam White. Like, look, they go to the back door. They finally find the mismatch goes around Adi Savia, but the timing of the pass from Jalabert. There's the footwork. There's the draw on play. There's the players' the motions, and there's that try. From wide out, Tomo Ramos gets them on their feet once again. Chips high. Will Jordan's on the chase. Ramos again. Climbs high and again he falls to the floor. This time it is a penalty yep. against New Zealand. That wasn't a fair fight, a fair contest in the air, says the referee. OK, Yako, I'm about to show you foul play by the well, New Zealand player. We have to go through the TMO process here to check the foul play. OK, this will be your best angle, Yako. It's number 14. With your eyes on the ball, you also have to get your timing right. He's still on the floor. He overruns under him. It's a yellow card for Will Jordan. For France, for Johan Moefana. Arthur Merson. France really feeling it now. Playing with a man up here. As we approach through quarter time, that one just slides by the right hand up, right? Back to Dupont. France keeping the ball alive. Christie just lifting the legs of Villiers. Got to be careful doing that. Not rolling away New Zealand, penalty advantage France. Jalabert, Taufa Fanua. You're in there. 20 is fine, you're in there. Ramos again, another three points. France lead New Zealand 19-13. Does well the New Zealand captain. David Harvey, who's out there for New Zealand. Kick pass for Talia. He's on a hat trick. Gets put to the ground and then going into the turnover. Picked up by Tokiaho. The man from the Chiefs franchise. High kick from Moanga. Will Jordan's got to be careful here. As Ramos hits the deck again. Ramos from distance. We try and make this a two score game. Thomas Ramos. Remember, New Zealand have never lost a pool game in a rugby world cup. France have never beaten them. At pool play. Now they are on the edge of history here, the home team in game one. Luku, the finisher at scrum half, kicks it deep. Well taken over the shoulder from Bowden Barrett. He's got support with him should they choose to run, and they sort of need to. Two scores down inside three minutes, and they've lost possession again here. And Luku just going to dig it in behind. Melvin Jamine chasing. Jamine! Should do it. That 
should seal it. France starting their home Rugby World Cup just the way they wanted to. Well, they've been industrious the second half in particular. Here's the turnover at the breakdown from Vincent. They shifted to the blind side quickly. Nice recognition from Luthu, but the dedication to put the body on the line, and that's the exclamation mark on a fantastic opening performance. Well, he's known as a goal kicker, Melvin Jamin. He scored 20 points against New Zealand when they beat them here two years ago in this stadium. That's his first test try. And what a time to do it. Well, hang on. One flag went up, one didn't. Referee Jakob Paper says no conversion. But the Stade de France this evening still driving the leg surveyor, but he's lost the ball. And perhaps that sums it up for New Zealand. That is the final whistle. France are up and running at their home World Cup. They have beaten the All Blacks. And for the first time in history, New Zealand lose a pool game at a Rugby World Cup.